In this video I will show you how to turn on or off your power supply using the PSU control plugin in Octoprint. This tutorial will work with all power supplies but if you are using an ATX power supply or a PSU with remote control functionality like the Meanwell PSP series, you can just use a PNP transistor instead of a relay board. But this video will cover a relay board as it's a more common way of doing this. So you can this using a relay board instead of a transistor only costs a few dollars more so you shouldn't worry about it too much. And this will work with pretty much every power supply out there. So without further delay, let's begin. First of all, I will talk about all the parts that you will need. Obviously you need a 3D printer with a power supply and a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint installation. Other than that, you will need a relay board, a 1K ohm resistor, a buck step-down converter like an LM2596. This one is an optional thing, but it helps with detection of your power supply when it is on or off. So I recommend you get this since it's only a couple dollars usually. And you will need some jumper DuPont female female cables. There are purchasing links for all of these in the description below. So let's begin. This is the wiring diagram. You can find an image file of this in the description below. I will explain each connection one by one. First of all we need to understand each GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. This is the diagram for each pin. You can also find this information in the website pinout.xynz. We need a 5 volt pin, a ground pin, a 3.3 volt pin and two general purpose pins. I chose pin 1 for 3.3 volts, pin 2 for 5 volts, pin 6 for ground, pin 11 for the relay and this is one of the GPIOs and pin 40 for 3.3 volt sense. Before we wire, we need to modify the relay board and set the buck converter. To modify the relay board, we need to solder this 1K ohm resistor over these SMD resistors. This will reduce the resistance here from 1K ohm, so 1000 ohm to 500 ohm, which is needed to make these work with Raspberry Pi's 3.3 volt system. Also, remove this jumper. Now the relay board is ready. Now we need to set up the LM2596 port, connect it to your printer's power supply. Just connect positive to positive and negative to negative, turn, off, turn on your power supply. Press this button to monitor the output voltage and turn this trim pot until the screen says 3.3 volts. Now turn the power supply off, connect the output positive terminal with the sense GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. It's also on the screen right now. In this case, we will be using pin 40. Now we will connect the relay board with the Raspberry Pi. Connect VDVCC with the 5 volt pin, pin 2 in this case. Connect the VCC to 3.3 volts, pin 1 in this case. And connect ground to ground, obviously, which is pin 6. And in 1 on the relay board to G the GPIO pin we selected which is pin 11. Now connect the power supply. If you have a always on power supply like any of the standard power supplies that ship with 3D printers or like a Meanwell SE series for example, you need to connect the regular AC cable to the relay board. If you are European it will be the brown wire and if you are from the US it will be the black one. Just connect those to the relay board as shown on the screen right now. If you have an ATX power supply, connect these, these two pins from the 24 pin motherboard connector to the relay. And if you have a different PSU with remote control function like the Meanwell PSP series, connect the RC and RCG wires to the relay board again as shown on the screen. All the wiring is now done. We need to install and configure the PSU control plugin. Just go to settings and download the plugin. Now just it's named PSU control. Download it and reboot the Raspberry Pi. We will now configure the plugin. 
go to PSU control plugin settings and choose the GPIO as switching method. GPIO mode should be also board. On off GPIO pin is the pin that's going to your relay. In this case, set it to 11. Sensing should also be set to GPIO pin. Select the pin with the buck converter. In this case, pin 40. If you want your 3D printer to turn off when idle, select the box with automatically turn off PSU off when idle box and then set the time below. You should probably also set wait for temperature to a reasonable temperature for safety reasons. You can also set your 3D printer to turn on automatically when the Raspberry Pi is turned on here. Save all of these settings, reboot the Raspberry Pi and plug in your power supply. The plugin should now work. You can turn on or off your power your 3D printer using this lightning shaped button. Also, if you have set the idle timer, it will turn it off automatically after whatever time you set it at. So, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any problems or questions with this setup, leave them in the comments and I will try to help you. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.